Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here with another movie slash analyzation of mine. Now as you probably already know, I'm a huge Austin Powers fan. And while I was re-watching the first Austin Powers movie for the hundredth time, I noticed something rather odd I thought I'd share with you all. What if Vanessa Kensington wasn't always a fenbot after all, but instead Dr. Evil had killed off the real Vanessa and instead replaced her with a fenbot of his own? Now some of you may be wondering, how could this make sense throughout the whole movie then? Well, it's not the whole movie I think she's a fenbot. It's mainly the scene where Vanessa gets captured by one of Dr. Evil's henchmen. Because you see, not too long before the scene, Vanessa and Austin had separated in order for Vanessa to go get back up. And then when she returns, they go ambush Dr. Evil together. Then Austin goes off on his own, and the next time we see Vanessa is when she's been captured. Thus, we don't know what happened between these two points, making me wonder if Vanessa was replaced by a fenbot sometime in between. Now, some reasons I think this theory might make sense is because in the sequel, it's revealed that Vanessa was actually a fembot the whole time. But how can this be? If in the first movie, we see Basil talk to and interact with Vanessa throughout the movie and never mention anything suspicious or odd about the situation. Not to mention, we see Vanessa talking to her real-life mother on the phone earlier in the movie. So with all this said, I think it's more likely that Vanessa was later replaced by a fembot, but she wasn't a fembot throughout the whole movie. Anyway, this is all just a theory, mind you, but still let me know if there's anything you think I didn't cover in this theory. And be sure to like and subscribe for more, and thanks so much for watching. Bye guys!